Excuse me. <coughs> I have no idea. You will know this after the sec the segment of measurement is over. Great. Everybody, let's leave this classroom in a fashionably straight line. I don't think so. Lucy, how about you come down to England so I can prove to you that the metro system is better? No time for arguing, your plane is waiting. Ta ta, I'll see you in England. I guess we're going to England. Hey, let's talk about measurement until Lucy gets oh. here. Okay, let's talk about um, distance. Like, how we got here? Hey, wouldn't it be so funny if hey, the street's yeah. sign said, like, guys, I don't know, feet instead of miles? Yeah, like, like you're going to the gas station, to you and you know, speed limit that the speed limit says 20 feet per hour. Way better. Just <laughs> that would be so funny, but um, that's not logical. I mean, if guys, it said 20 feet per hour, we wouldn't go a foot I've per got second. A book and well, prove to um, you. what guys, you're saying is that when you're measuring in... Uh, Guys, it's inches, the yards, rods, and miles. You should use the correct units of measurement. Yeah. Yes. But can it be a lot easier to use this? Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, Lucy from the video. Won't you guys listen to me? No. 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 This is nothing about feet, miles, yards, rods, or anything. I know because it's a metric book. Oh. So how do you measure your streets, your highways, your marathons, or your walks? We use kilometers, silly. Oh, <laughs> we forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Olivia. I'm Bella. And I'm Dylan. And why were you guys laughing? Well, because it's just that a, a mile is like, a kilometer is like half a mile. I know, but in metric it makes more sense to use kilometers because kilometers are 1,000 meters. But how do you guys know that if you were just asking me about metric? Well, in science, it says that the Earth is 149,476,000 kilometers away from the sun. That's how we know. Mm -hmm. See, you know a little bit about metric units. Do you guys know any other metric units in linear feet? No, but it does say in here a good way to remember is to um, think of a sentence. Like, you know, like um, kids have um, dropped over dead converting. Other explanation, please? Oh, it says in here that that stands for kilometers, a meter itself, decimeters, decimeters, and centimeters, but it doesn't say anything about millimeters. Well, maybe we can make up a sentence. Bella, how about you try? Well, how about this? Kids have divided over decades with convincing rhymes. Hey, wait, wait, it says in here another way is to like think of something to represent it. Oh, like in customary, a notebook paper can represent feet. Bye guys. Bye. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. I hope you guys had a good rest yesterday because we're going to measure two things today. What? Capacity and perimeter. Oh, what's the difference between ca capacity and volume? Well, volume is for liquid and capacity is for solid cubic units. I think I brought something in here. Oh yes. What is this? Uh, 
Um, uh, oh, it's a, uh, it's a graduated cylinder. And no, it didn't go to college. It's called a graduated cylinder because it has numbers on the side to measure. Um, yes, it does have milliliters on the side, but the reason it's called a graduated cylinder is because its quantity rises. Hey, was that another science question? No, discovery channel. Um, one milliliter over, but yes, that's why the capacity for this graduated cylinder is 100 milliliters. As you can see, 100 milliliters. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Well, um, let's see. Let's do the perimeter now. Oh man, I can't find my meter stick here. We need to measure the perimeter with. And how is that supposed to be stuck in there? I don't know, it's fit somehow. Well, let's see. Hey, hey, remember from the distance lesson you said that one foot is approximately one piece of paper? Oh yeah, I think I have paper on here. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, I, I do have paper. Well, let's see. This is paper's actually a non-standard unit of measurement. It's not approximately one foot. It's actually 11 inches. But not everybody carries around a good supply of paper. But I'm pretty sure everybody carries around money. Let's see, how much do I have? Oh, here's some money. So, did you guys know that money is approximately six inches long? So, let's say that this flower bed was six feet long. You, you could fit 12 dollar bills all the way across. 12 divided by two is six. Well, you guys can go ahead and measure it while I go ahead and try to find a tape measure up. Okay, y'all, let's measure. Hey guys, I'm back. So, what's the perimeter of this? It's eight by, oh, where did you get that tape measure? Start from that kid over there, and now I have a tape measure up. Hey, that's my tape measure! And now I don't have a tape measure up. Well, the perimeter is 15 feet. Um, that could also be five yards. Yeah. And, um, the metric is, um, I think, approximately four, um, oh yeah, four meters. Okay. Well, um, so you guys better rest up again, because tomorrow you guys are flying back to the USA. Let's water the flowers real fast. distance we learned about the perimeter and we learned about capacity all in a week thanks for inviting us to England it'll be so much easier in class well here's my number just in case well, bye guys bye Bella bye Olivia bye Dylan bye Lucy see you in England cheerio Hello mate, come down to Australia and take a spin on the metric side. See you there. Holy crikey, that's a big crocodile. I guess we're going to Australia. Not again.